So in this video, we're going to be comparing Streamlabs OBS with OBS Studio. Which one is the best for you? Coming up. So hello, my name is Nick Nix and I'm full-time online entrepreneur and video creator. And in this video, we're going to explain what is the difference between Streamlabs OBS and OBS Studio and which one is the best for you as a beginner in a live streaming or video recording on your computer. As you may have heard, OBS or Open Broadcaster Software is the best software by far for creating content on your computer it will be the recording of the videos will it be uh, the live streaming everything that is happening on your computer and whatever is happening around you can be compiled in really easy and nice way using obs but there are uh, quite a few versions of obs but, th but there are mainly two versions two not not like that two versions that you need to consider in order to create your own video content so these two versions are streamlabs obs and obs studio so before we'll uh, dive into the differences between these two software i want you to know that this is to help you to choose which one to start working with because despite uh, streamlabs obs based on obs studio uh, they are going on quite different paths and becoming their own things separately they're based streamlabs obs is based on obs studio but it is becoming its own thing very very rapidly and pretty pretty soon enough it will be like completely different from obs studio so without further ado let's just jump right in and just to just check what is difference between uh, those two and which one is the best for you so let's start with an obs studio obs studio is OG uh, recording uh, software. Uh, it's not the original one, of course. Uh, the OBS Classic was the first one, but OBS Studio was developed after that, which is which kind of like an OBS Classic version two, but it became its own uh, thing uh, completely. And OBS Classic was discontinued after that. It is uh, the base version of OBS, stripped down uh, to the bone. Uh, not not that uh, it's not the feature rich, but it's like essential stuff that all that you need without any additional crap just to make it as light as possible and as fast as possible while streamlabs obs is based on uh, obs it is a skinned version of obs and it has a lot of additional features which is based on streamlabs a software streamlabs service that i talked about in a previous video which you can see in a card somewhere right here on in the description uh, down below it is base feature far more feature rich than obs studio and has a lot of different things but there are of course a lot of good sides and downsides to both of the software so first things first i would like to say the obs studio is again down stripped version which has only the essential stuff that you need that you need for the recording of videos or live streaming they, they they are made primarily for everyone basically it's not made for gamers in mind it's not made for just streamers in mind they are made it is made for every single individual who would, who would want to do anything uh, related to recording or live streaming on your computer so they're OBS Studio is basically the universal standard for uh, the recording videos. While Streamlabs OBS more catered toward gamers and live streamers, it is uh, made with the features that is more closer to the gamers and streamers on Twitch, on YouTube, or Mixer, on Facebook, DLive, or any other platform that you want, then it is made for any other person that just wants to record videos or just want to make a like, TV kind of setup or do live streams or just, just podcasts, etc, etc. OBS Studio is more better for these things than Streamlabs OBS. So what features the Streamlabs OBS has that OBS does not have at least, at least natively. So first things first, Streamlabs OBS has integrated Streamlabs uh, features, which is alerts, which is chat, which is donations, which is jar, which is themes, which is the very powerful thing. You can just change themes of your uh, stream or video from inside the uh, software itself. And which has a lot of different things, which until recently was almost completely free. But with an introduction of Streamlabs Prime, a lot of this stuff is becoming paid under the subscription of Streamlabs Prime. So mind that, that a lot of features in Streamlabs Prime that is good additional uh, features of Streamlabs are becoming paid features. While OBS does not have any of this natively, all of these things, all of it 
can be added on OBS just by using different browser sources and different plugins. And it can be done very, very easily. So if you compare these two, Streamlabs OBS and OBS, in the type of performance, how they are doing performance wise, OBS Studio wins by far because it requires far less resources than Streamlabs OBS because it, does not, it is not running all the features at the same time despite you needing them or not. And for that reason, Streamlabs OBS is a bit more difficult to run. Plus, what Streamlabs OBS has that OBS does not have is included chatbot, which is good feature, I guess, but nothing that you cannot get on OBS or nothing that it requires to run natively on your computer. Overall, let's divide who is this two software for. If you're using a Streamlabs service and not using the other services like Stream Elements, and if you are primarily gamer doing a lot of live streaming or a lot of the game recording, gameplay recordings, and if you have pretty beefy and powerful computer, and you are a beginner in everything, Streamlabs OBS is pretty good bad for you. You can just start using, just check out how everything works and see the things that you need, see the things that you don't need and just adapt to the stuff using Streamlabs OBS because Streamlabs OBS makes it, makes it very easy to adapt for the stuff that is showing you. While OBS Studio is a bit more complicated if you know what you're doing, if you know what alerts are, if you know how you can integrate the chat, if you know how to use chatbots and everything like that, then Streamlabs, then Direct OBS Studio is pretty good software for you. Plus, if you're using uh, a Stream Elements, you can use an OBS Live plugin, which we'll be talking in a separate video with ease. And you can have a pretty powerful stream on itself by using less resources than Streamlabs OBS does. So to whom I would cater Streamlabs OBS versus OBS? Again, for gamers that are beginners, I would say game beginner game streamers and OBS Studio for everyone else. Advanced game streamer, OBS Studio. Not user of the Streamlabs, OBS Studio. If you're not a gamer, OBS Studio. So as you can see, Streamlabs OBS for the very narrow band of people that could find really good use of this software while everyone else should use should go for OBS Studio. I myself started using OBS Studio before the Streamlabs OBS came out and when Streamlabs OBS came out I switched to Streamlabs OBS and have been using for really really long time after that and as far as I know it's not that great because of its bugginess because it's a software based on the other software like software on the top and other software on the bottom and when something changes on the bottom software top software had to adapt to everything and it is a bit buggy it's a bit uh, slow in many cases it's uh, a bit resource intensive and if you're not using Streamlabs uh, services it is practically useless for you the only thing that could be pretty useful for you are free themes Free themes that are still free because a lot of free themes are becoming paid on uh, slops, Streamlabs OBS, and it's, it is very frustrating. So again, if you're not user of Streamlabs, just don't even consider using Streamlabs OBS because it's not worth it. It's it's not just worth it. You can find a lot of free themes on internet anyways, and if you're using user of Stream Elements, you can find uh, themes or stream elements and but by the way it's it's uh, probably too long to too late to say that I'm not affiliated to stream uh, stream elements or with stream labs none of them have paid me none of them are doing anything for me except providing services like a regular user so I, I, I'm just telling of what is my opinion in this case and I've been using stream labs as I said in previous video I've been using stream labs for a really really long time and I just switched to Stream Elements because I consider it far more superior service. A bit more complicated service, but still superior service nonetheless. One of the downsides of, if you're a user of Streamlabs software, and one of the biggest downsides of uh, the OBS Studio over the Streamlabs OBS is the usage of stream labels. If you're using stream labels, which are the texts for on the stream, like the don last latest donation, latest follower, etc., etc., it's a bit more complicated to use on stream on OBS Studio than on Streamlabs OBS because on Slops or Streamlabs OBS, it's just integrated right into the software and it's extremely easy to use. And if you're really dependent on this stuff, and again, if you're using the Streamlabs, uh, then I would say go to with the Streamlabs OBS. But overall, Streamlabs OBS is for very narrow 
band of people. Beginner game streamers that are using Streamlabs uh, services. It's it's very very narrow band even though there are probably a lot of uh, people uh, that are under this category a lot of people maybe thousands maybe tens of thousands but still it's way too narrow beginner game streamers who are using Streamlabs services anyone else if you're non gamer go for o OBS if you're not user of Streamlabs go for OBS if you're not beginner go for OBS studio Everything is like more better in OBS Studio. Plus, OBS Studio gets a lot of good updates and a lot of important updates. And OBS Studio just works with any live streaming software that you want. Any stream live, live streaming service. Twitch, YouTube, Facebook gaming, a lot of obscure live streaming services that you probably never heard. They work just fine on OBS Studio and you are just not restricted with the things that Streamlabs is providing to you. So that was it for this video, I hope I was clear enough. Again, winner for me is OBS Studio, which is far better in every single way than Streamlabs OBS. But again, if you're falling under the category that I said in the video, you can go with Streamlabs OBS and be pretty fine with it until you will become advanced enough to switch to the OBS Studio, which is not as difficult as you may think to switch from one platform to another. I did this and it was just a maybe hour and a half of work to switch completely with ease and then add even more features to OBS Studio. So it's extremely easy. I'm not hating on uh, Streamlabs OBS in any way, shape or form. It's really good software, but OBS Studio is just better and you can do much more with OBS Studio. Well, this was it for today. I hope you liked this video, like the video. If you liked it, subscribe if you want more videos like this one and I'm gonna see you in the next video. See ya.